Hey guys, Charizard1 here, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about how the Game Boy Advance, the Game Boy, the original Game Boy, led to the Nintendo Switch. So let's get started. In 1989, the original Game Boy was released for North America, and it was majorly designed by Gunpei Yokoi, who designed the iconic D-pad we are now familiar with. This eventually led to a few revisions throughout the years, like the Game Boy Pocket, which released in 1996, and then the uh, Game Boy Light, which was released the same year in, Jap in Japan only. But it would take America another like, nine years to get a Game Boy with a backlight. That's crazy, even though they already had it over in Japan. So after the original Game Boy release to massive success, being on the market for nearly ten years before the revisions were released, Nintendo next decided to add color to it because the original Game Boy screen was only puke green. Okay, it had like four shades of the green, but still... So in 1998, they released the Game Boy Color, which still did not have a backlight, but it now played games in color, and even added some color to previous games that did not have them, like Pokemon Red and Blue. If you played them on the Game Boy Color, they would be, well, red and blue. This is the first... I think these systems are key to what brought us to the Nintendo Switch that we have now and today. Because the Game Boy, if it wasn't as successful as it is, Nintendo probably would have teetered out a long time ago. Because during the time of the Game Boy's lifespan, they released the NES, which was a massive success. Well, they actually released that before the Game Boy, but still. And then they released the Super Nintendo, which was a massive success. But then they released the N64, and that that was... A lot of people did not like the N64 due to its use on cartridges still. So while well, Nintendo's home, mar home console market was floundering a bit, Nintendo decided to release the Game Boy Color to help compensate that loss and get more interest into the Game Boy once again. Along with... Stellar titles like Pokemon and Super Mario Land and Super Wario Land, which is technically Super Mario Land 3 on the system. It made a must-have for anyone who wanted to play games on the go. While there was other consoles, that handheld consoles at the time, like the Game Gear, which did have a backlight screen, but it just didn't have like the hardware and game library like the Game Boy did. And because of the massive success of the Game Boy Color, in 2001, Nintendo released the Game Boy Advance, a refreshed model of the Game of the Game Boy Color, now featuring a new design that's a landscape design as opposed to the portrait design of the other Game Boys. I like this design very much. The only thing that they should have added, I think, was a backlight to it. But other than that, it was pretty good. It uh, was backwards compatible with the whole Game Boy library, which... The Game Boy is the first major system we saw have a lot of backwards compatibility for. So, the, at launch, the Game Boy Advance already had a stellar lineup of classic games from the Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Then, in 2003, Nintendo released a reversion of the Game Boy Advance called the Game Boy Advance SP, which featured another new design of, with a foldable screen come, common of what we will later come to know from the DS line of consoles. And it was still... It had a fully backlit screen, they even released a later version of it with an even more improved backlit screen. Then, a year or two after that release, Nintendo released their new third pillar, they called it, which was the uh, DS 
the original DS model. They originally claimed that it wasn't a successor to the Game Boy, but it did have backwards compatibility with the Game Boy Advance. Sadly, it didn't have compatibility with the other game systems, but I think this was still a good compromise to have both Game Boy Advance and DS games. The DS later saw a redesign in 2006 where it became the DS Lite, and then in 2009 it got another redesign called the DSi, which took out the Game Boy slot, added Wi-Fi features and a camera. Overall, I think they should they should have had a games on the Game Boy games on the Virtual Console for downloads, so like. So that they could be replayed since there was no more backwards compatibility with the Game Boy Advance. But they ended up not doing that even though everyone thought they were. But this is Nintendo we're talking about. They do weird things all the time. And then after the DSi released and the DSi XL release, which is just a bigger DSi, in 2011 Nintendo brought us the 3DS. Which was released with its big gimmick being 3D without the glasses. And they later released a bigger version of it known as the 3DS XL because why? what else would they call it? I personally think the 3DS line of consoles, while great, has too many options for it. Because you have the 3DS, the 3DS XL, the new 3DS, the new 3DS XL, the 2DS, the new 2DS XL. Nintendo, calling your consoles new will be outdated a year after they release. The 2DS, but the 2DS was marketed as a budget-friendly version of the 3DS for those who only wanted to play one or two 3DS games and didn't really care about the 3D option. I grew up having the two... My, I, I had the 3DS XL, which... Well, I liked its big design. It was a little top-heavy. That's my complaint about it. And after, over time, the uh, rubber on the uh, circle pad came off. But other than that, I really enjoyed my two, my two, 3DS XL. Later, I replaced it with the Pokeball Edition 2DS XL. And then a year after I got that, I just got the Nintendo Switch. Which... Once again, I think due to Nintendo's massive handheld success, that's why they decided to merge both their handheld console and their home console into one with the Nintendo Switch and its stellar library of games. But that's just my opinion. Also, the DSi were kind of dumb. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's something new I'm trying. I hope I didn't ramble on too long, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time.